effective to save Egypt is currently standing uh, before a decisive moment in its history and its own, uh, which its future and destiny depends for years to come. Because this has been the situation probably for the past years, but this moment became extended since January 25th revolution uh, broke out until now. This extended decisive moment, the options laid before the youth and the relationship with the state, state, state seem an important factor in exiting from inherited dilemmas of stagnation. So that's definitely like speaking about, you know, youth and how... And how we can actually make them useful people in the community that we're, we're in. Um, let me ask you, uh, we have with us joining us Dr. Samir Ghanem, who's a human development consultant and an expert at the United Nations. Thank you so much, Dr. Samir, for joining us. Thank you very much, Chancellor. And for let me just start off with the first question. Unemployment is a major challenge facing the Egyptian youth. Uh, what are the social and political consequences of this, do you think? I think it's a great chance nowadays to try to begin to tell everybody about regarding what we need exactly from the youth, because really uh, there is a main problem, because youth, it means bump. So I try each time to deal with change, and I need to each time to leading a change. Number one, I need to try to apply something that's very important for all these people. We need appreciation, we need a work, we need the jobs. I will do best regarding to the community or cooperation between all the institutes, state institutions like Egypt Ministry, Egypt High Ministry, and uh, I am talking about the institute uh, uh, regarding the schools, the university, and everyone trying each time to cooperate to know exactly what we are talking about. We are talking about the bump. If we need to try to deal with this bump by useful, by advantage, I will try to get the great, 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 great opportunity. If you need to try to deal with uh, this yacht regarding to this uh, uh, nothing, there is nothing, there is because still these people so young, it will be as a chance to try to explosion and to destroy everything. Of course. And what do you think would be the social concepts and traditions that maybe hinder negatively uh, and affect the youth employment? Really, uh, there's uh, many things. Number one, we are talking about the uh, uh, high ministry and uh, uh, we are talking about the Ministry of Education. That's number one, because really we are not give uh, a great uh, concept about the people who are working in a, uh, something in official, something it's not everybody needs to try to be a high school. Mm -hmm. We need the people who are working in an efficient or effective what we need exactly. So That's you number think one. maybe we need more of vocational training? Exactly, and appreciation. As opposed be to higher education. Exactly, and appreciation. I'm still talking about the appreciation because that's what we are losing nowadays. Yeah. Well, it's very strange though. We still have, although a lot of youth are, uh, are being uh, unemployed, businessmen still complain uh, that they can't find youth to work. What is this sort of dilemma or gap? Really, I, I, face, I face this problem before because most of the businessmen talking about that discussed this problem with me. The people are graduated from the university and really by the end of this situation, there are nothing to be as a right person for the right position in the war. Yeah, so the, that's the, their claim is, sorry to interrupt you, doctor, but their claim is that they can't find enough qualified youth exactly. for their jobs. Exactly. And Although this is the problem. we have a lot of graduates of higher education and very well educated youth. Because they have any skills or they have nothing skills because really we need each time to try to talk or to speak or to tell the all of uh, 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 Ministry of Education and Ministry of Higher Education and Ministry of uh, member all that's they need the skills what yep. we need exactly they mm -hmm. need skills to meet our needs business people or businessmen need something it needs uh, something is very important we need the people who are I uh, will tell everybody this is the right person for the right position yep. by the end of this situation it's nothing because really nothing language nothing is skills no dealing with change no uh, effective uh, communication skills no problem solution decision making by the end they are nothing so that's they are not right person for the right for position. the right job exactly yeah. so for the majority of the youth they tend to be you know during the period of education and university they tend to gain more you know, knowledge knowledge in, in terms of theory away from building capacity and skills so they wait until they graduate and then they start building skills and that's the majority of the, the yeah. I think it's not a good way or it's a very bad path because really we need time by time to keep continuous or to keep march and each day I have to try to get more skills because by end of this, by end of four years I'm nothing they so I will not. lose my time. Yeah. So that's I'm trying each time to tell everybody regarding what the meaning of time management. 
by end we are nothing because we need to give him a time management but we are help them to destroy it or to lose their time. Well, maybe doctor as well, universities should state that maybe the, the, the youth should do internships. They can't graduate, for instance, uh, w without having a certain time of or hours spent in an internship to be able to graduate. So they're forcing them to train throughout the university years. Like abroad, you have this. You, you cannot graduate without having specific hours spent in, in training in a job. I appreciate this suggestion because really that's what we are talking about and all of the Arabian people called about the summer course or by exactly. end we have a project you time by time we have a continuous project not working so that's we have a project to problem solution decision making how trying each time to make this case study or role play to sit all of these guys in a problem and give them chance to try to dream to try to beginning to make something it's extraordinary to try to get some solution by end these people have a skills but when we try to wait by end or finish the graduation it means i destroy time management i destroy this mentality because by end I need to appreciation. I am a graduated, so that that is the old concept. Yeah. I'm graduated from the university, but by the end you are nothing. You are not the right person for the right There's job no or the right career. Basically, and this problem. I know there's there is the sensitive discussion, you know, around because we have a good portion of the graduates go to the army. Yeah, and this is a period that varies from uh, 14 months up to two years uh, for uh, the people, uh, the, the volunteers uh, joining the army. But now, with this you know, in mind, like you mentioned, they graduate, they have these high hopes, they want jobs, they want to start gaining money and skills and, and the future. So, is there any plans you know, to integrate the building skills within also the army? I know it's a sensitive uh, topic, but, but this is actually a good portion of the students who graduates goes there for at least Really, uh, Mr. Sophie, it's a great uh, opinion because really there is a, a, a time, a great amount of time, a great amount of time in an army. We have to try each time to push or to try to drive these guys to learn some skills. It's not only army skills. I need the skills which will give me chance to try to get my career. Exactly. Give me chance to try to get my, uh, uh, my appreciation because really all, most of the people graduate from the university asking about, I'm a teacher. I'm a, I'm, I'm a graduated from Faculty of Arts of English. It's okay, but by end you are nothing because you are not keep continuous in English only five minutes. You can't talk English only five minutes. So that, that's a problem. And if we set all these skills in the army and set the people who are the right people to try to deal with these guys, I think it will be a great chance to uh, uh, get the right person for the right position after finish the army. So I agree with you to be one of the most important things we need to care or to focus about. We have to cater for that because the army is doing a lot of projects today. They are participating in a lot of infrastructure projects. I think this is also part of the job to be participating in preparing those youth because they are gaining experience and other discipline and you know other skills that they are gaining in the army. But if we're building also capacity for, uh, for preparing them for jobs, it will actually bridge the gap because they feel really, you know, far from the market when they graduate and their colleagues actually gra graduate and have the opportunity to work right away. So, and it, the gap is huge in terms of experience, no, really? in terms of the far, you know, edge. Uh, uh, you know, skills that they're gaining. You said it's gaps, really it's gaps because really we need to change our thoughts, to change our beliefs because really from the first time when we be our young and all my family sit in my personality, you have to be as a doctor, you have to be as a policeman, you have to be as a, a engineer, so that we need to change this uh, uh, concept, we need to change this capacity to try to each time to dealing with change. Number one, what we are talking about, we need to tell everybody here, it doesn't matter for me to graduate from university or not, but what's important for me to try to do what do you need, that's number one, regarding what you have. If you have a skills, and each time most of the people say, no, nothing, jobs, and everything uh, Actually, is not Dr. Samir, I want to interrupt you because this is my next question. Why do the youth refuse to do certain jobs here, whereas they would do them abroad? Because they, they got appreciation But when they there. come back to Egypt, they refuse to do them. They got appreciation there. I'm not born in Egypt, and really I filled and faced many of these youths regarding to the honor war, regarding to the uh, 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 United Nations, regarding to the uh, UNICEF, and I faced some of these people. Maybe sometimes he tried to make as a steward in some uh, restaurant. But really, when I asked him why you are doing something do like here. this and you are graduated from Faculty of Arts and Education, Egypt, he said, no, I'm here appreciation. I feel that I'm a human being. Oh, this is a problem because really we need to, to change the concept about the people 
are not working in something like engineer, something like a doctor. If we, the all institute in the uh, so uh, state inclusion and diversity concept. Exactly, so, so that's really And that all the change. jobs are equally important. In Europe, in Europe, all the people great, have a great expectation for the people cleaning people, for the steward, because really they give appreciation. So that he doesn't, he doesn't refuse to do something like this because he appreciates himself. But here in Egypt, there is a problem. There is a gap because everybody look for him like something under, something low, so that he has something uh, as a, a badness a feel because he do something he doesn't like or the people doesn't respect him. This is a problem only. Yes. So we need to try about only to change the concept for the state's institution. That's only. The government have tried each time to change this culture for the young people and from the k k so through kid education. one, kid two. Exactly. To try to tell everybody here, the man which clean the street is the best one. So that's we need to appreciate. Without that's him, it, we, we would be have. disastrous. Yeah, these are very essential jobs that without them, uh, the society would just completely collapse. Exactly. So it's uh, exactly. it is absolutely uh, equal I, important. I'm still uh, talking about everybody, and I calling to try each time to ask the government to change the culture, to change the concept. That means the people which has graduation. That's not only the people what we need, but we need the people which. Uh, uh, be right person for the right work in the future on the market to set Egypt in the head of the market if we need to try each time to be one of the best in the world. Yes, uh, so as a human development consultant, we, sp we spoke about a number of gaps. In your opinion, what, where is exactly the gap, you know, in having better skills um, and to fit for a lot of jobs today that are looking for the best calibers that are not able to find in Egypt? Yeah, really. Uh, first, first of all, I, I think the most skills we need here and uh, we don't have, that's what uh, the Arabian country beginning to try to deal maybe from 20 years ago, like something is so easy. Nowadays we have examination and the time for all the family uh, uh, worried and the tension and everybody here needs to try each time to please study. That's where the time management in this time. Why in each time I need to try to uh, tell uh, the guys now time management why they are not told, told them from the kg1 kg2 and the ministry of uh, uh, prime education why each time to need sit in the egypt of high education and the uh, ministry and edu education ministry still now nothing human resource book nothing human resource book nothing human resource trainer or instructor so that's how could you feel if these guys reach or approach his university and till now do nothing or know nothing about the skills which we need in the world. So after finished graduate, we need to look for and we need to lose the time for time for time and by end say the guys it's not cool. No, I still have only one uh, uh, decision. All of this trouble from the government because really we need to set human resource, human resource development book in the prime of the education. That's number one. Number two, we need to try to look for the people, the guys who can give or to be an instructor or trainer for human resource development. By the end of this session, I'm sure by the first year in the university, I will find the greatest people or greatest yet to be right people for the right career or profile career. And when you mean a consultant for uh, human development, do you mean someone who's guiding those students towards the better it's not skills? It's only students for the government, it's not for students, because really okay. sometimes there is a gap between us and between the students. It's because the teachers, I think you mean? Exactly. So that's, we need to tell the government, where, where the human resource uh, uh, management, where the human resource development? Both of them, we are lost in Egypt. And nowadays, some of people ask about what is the difference between human resource management and human resource development. They, are, they know nothing. There is a great uh, amount of differences between both of them. But really, we need to sit that in a prime of educational uh, education in Egypt regarding to the uh, KG1, KG2. From this chance, from this time, we need to build the skills in these uh, 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 guys or these uh, uh, children. Yeah. Well, uh, Doctor, the government has recently launched a lot of initiatives recently in the past year. D can you tell us or do you spot any of them that would be a good opportunity uh, for our youth to help them? It's good you opportunity that I, I agree Anything? with you. But yeah. regarding to the old concept, the old traditional, the old socialism, I think most of them 
till now uh, have nothing and do nothing because really I grew up with I will be as a manager and yeah. nowadays you ask me to be as a, a, a formal it will be not agree to me to uh, 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 accept something like this so that's most of them refuse and I need to tell you something it's very important nowadays most of the guys which are going to the uh, uh, canal Suez uh, new canal Suez most of them back again and back again because really they lose or they found not appreciation maybe sometimes because I love Egypt that's only but regarding to the money regarding to I need to uh, make family it's nothing so that thank you very much appreciate yes that's mm -hmm. only Yes, and that's and that's that's a crucial point because we're speaking about you know long-term development. It's not about a year or a month. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, your uh, decision because really we need to get that time by time. We need to beginning that with the uh, first of the educational. We need to set all this concept and the change to lead the change. I need for number one. I need to deal with change. That's number one. Number two, I will lead change after grow up and after I got the people who have skills and everybody here, all the market said Egyptian people, great people for the great position, but not only like wishes or dreams, we need to sit that as an official or as a sign of our time. And usually the concern is usually about the management. They say that the management in Egypt... And that's what I'm talking about, the exactly governmental the management. Like well, that's what we lose in Egypt, the management. I'm really uh, optimistic. I'm not this optimistic, but in each time I'm talking about the uh, uh, something I will do it after one or two three four years I will do it but regarding to a strategic planning to get action planning but only you are talking about strategic planning strategic planning but in nothing we need to sit this as action plan not only strategic planning I need to get action planning still now we lose something and I hope we will find this nowadays Listen, action planning is definitely through the management layer yes, yeah. thank you very much for that so do, you, do you have anything to add no, it was very interesting because actually youth uh, are a big segment, especially of the Egyptian society. And uh, we really need to make use of them and um, to have them beneficial people to their society. Absolutely. Yes. And in terms of uh, across the board, I think it, it's just the youth. Yeah. So, uh, well, anyways, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Samir Ghanem. We'd like to thank you, the human development consultant and an, an expert at the United Nations. And we're going to go on a very short break and we'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. Have you got a good story? 